What's up guys? This is Toxstar98 and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Um, well, first of all, we're just gonna get right back into it. And, hope y'all like it. Here we go. Hold on. I think we're good to go. Let me check some options here. Normal. And here we go. So I really haven't done anything since the last episode. And we're just gonna get right into it. And, yeah. I didn't comment very much about what I should build, but I guess I can decide that on my own. Since I am a new YouTuber, this is a problem. Not a lot of people watch my videos, but I'm trying. So, let's see what we're what we were doing here. Pretty sure we got our stuff. So yes, we did. And pretty sure we're ready to rumble. Get on out of here. So let's throw that, and I think we'll grab some of this iron. And here we go. Okie dokie. How much is that? So eight. Oh, it's just enough for now. We can definitely come back if I if we decide this is a good mining spot, which I think it is. But it's up to y'all, really. Hold on. That's coal. I always need some of that. Let's grab some. So I think what I'm gonna build is a castle. Um, a medium size, not not too large, but pretty big, pretty big. I don't know if that made sense, but it made sense to me. Okay, so we're good on that, and let's get right into it. Okay, doke. So, hungry already. Okie dokie. And, I think we should get some of this wood. But before I build the castle, there's obviously a couple things I'm going to need to make. To get the cobblestone and snow stone generation getting get on their ball. So, that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to make what's called a... Um... Page 12, I think it was. A igneous extruder. And what that does is it can make smooth stones, cobblestone, or obsidian. And I think that will be quite the help when we get it going. So let's build a small shelter first. And then we can get what we, then we can get what we need. And let's find a oh, nice rubber trees everywhere. Definitely gonna need those for Mine Factor Reloaded. So that's like a plan here. Okie doke. Two more out. And we'll bring this on up. Okay, so that's two. This is two. We'll make this the doorway. Nice. It's grass out of here. And we do we do have a shovel. Nice. We don't have enough wood to make the floor though. We can get some here in a minute. Yeah, I was just thinking the castle will be the best decision since there are 111 mods, I think, and that's, we just, we're just going to need a lot of space. Okay, so we don't need the dirt. Throw this out real quick. Some more of this wood. And we'll continue building our beginning shelter. And we'll see how that works out. Cut that out of our inventory. We don't need those. Okay, there we go. A little bit of lag. Uh oh. Get out of there, pig. There we go. I'm just going to make it a box type, where it's just a box, really. 
slow. Get some more wood. Okay, let's do this real quick. And it's pretty solid, bro. Doing great. Put our stuff down. Don't really want this dirt, but get it right now. Okie doke. So a couple of chests are necessary. Okie doke. Well, three is fine. Okay, so let's throw those down. Let's chunk some stuff in here for now. I will organize my inventory after a little while. But not at the moment because it is not needed right now. Okay. So I'm going to have food, cobble, I mean, uh, coal. Let's throw that in there. Get to cooking some stuff. And make a better axe. So, a couple of sticks. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. A little bit of frame lag there. Getting some wood real quick. Okay. So that's enough to put a roof over our house for now. So it's gonna be a box. Box for now. Okay. Do. Go ahead and throw our bed down because that seems necessary. And there we have it. Let's make a couple of doors. There we go. The next thing I want to get into is Tinker's Construct. So, what I'm going to do now is build a what's called a stencil table. Or, first, I'm going to need some stencils. So, let's make some of those. Alright, these are stencils needed, or blank patterns, these are needed for everything in Tinker's Construct. Pretty much. So, we're going to throw this together. That's going to give us a stencil table, which we're going to throw down. And also, we're going to need a regular piece of wood, if this works. And it does not. So, I'm going to get a, another piece of wood. Let's get this tree real quick. And we'll do this real fast. I'm going to make what's called a matic. After I get all of this complete. A matic is, it looks like, where is it at? These guys here. They act as a, a shovel, an axe, and a um, hoe. So that's, it's, it's, it's very useful. So let's throw those unneeded things in there at the moment. Get a part builder. And let's get our actual tool station. So we're going to need this, and we're going to need that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one over here because we need what's called a pattern chest. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our pattern chest. Throw a pattern over it, get the pattern chest. And you're going to place this next to this because there's your pattern chest. Put all your extra patterns or any patterns you have in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make some blank patterns. What we're going to do now is throw these in here. This is a tool rod. We're going to need one of those. Let's get some others. We'll need a pickaxe head after a while. But um, for now, we need a shovel head and an axe head. But I'm going to go ahead and save these extra blank patterns. 
in case we might need them later. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is grab my iron and a stick, sticky stick here, wherever it might be. I could use a bone, but I'm not going to do that. Stick will work. Actually, let's take a rest real fast. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> well, that was quite weird. So let's go ahead and get our part builder and throw our stencils in here. And we're going to need, of course, one of each, like so. And one like this. Okay, do. Alrighty, so now we're going to take it to the part build, I mean, the uh, tool station. We're going to click on it, the tool we were seeing. Alright, so that was just, that was a crash, a bug in the system, whatever. And sorry about that, that was a crash. Um, no, I have no control over that, and I'm sorry. But let's get right back into it. So as I was saying, so I have everything we need, we're just going to click on the tool we need and throw the parts in. And since I made the iron tool rod, that's what we're going to make. And see it shows durability, mining speeds, harvest levels, and modifiers. We'll get into modifiers a bit later. But right now I'm going to put a diamond on this matic to increase the durability. So see it says 487. I'm going to go ahead and throw the diamond on and it makes 987. So that helps out increasingly. And let's go ahead and throw those in there. Don't need those at the moment. Let's make a couple extra torches. That's going to be quite useful. And yes. Okay, so the next mod I really want to get into is the thermal expansion stuff. So what we're going to need for that is, let's actually check our stuff real quick. And see so what we have. So the first thing we're going to need is a good bit of sand and a couple other things okay so let's grab our shovel actually i'm going to use uh iron shovel for this let's go to make some sticks sticky sticks here and like this now I'm, the reason i'm making the shovel does not um contradict this in any way because this does not do sand or gravel it just does dirt so let's get uh, going here. We're gonna need a bit more sand for some glass because we're gonna need to make the what's called a machine frame. It just takes glass, either steel or iron, and a bit of gold. And those is using those is what takes all the machines in thermal expansion. So let's get some sand. And we will continue. Now I'll stop, I'm going to stop the video after we have enough items to make, um, well right about now seems a good time. So, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see if I can fix that bug where it crashes, but if I can't, I'm real sorry and I'll try to avoid it next time. But, thanks for watching.